It's a clear August night. You're stargazing in the middle of the Nevada desert with a bunch of friends. Suddenly an unidentified flying object streaks across the sky. The UFO is silent, but clearly moving faster than the speed of sound. Was that a shooting star? One of your friends asks. No, it was definitely some sort of aircraft, says another. Everyone turns their telescope in the direction of the UFO, but it's gone. Then one of your friends says, I know what it was. It was a military aircraft that's using alien technology from Area 51. Everyone laughs, but your friend insists that the military has been using alien secrets for decades. A couple of people snicker, but others sit quietly with shifting eyes. Area 51 is probably the most infamous site connected to alien technology. The high security military base did not appear on any public maps for decades, and even after that, the United States government refused to admit it existed. This obviously created conspiracy theories and intrigue over what was happening at the secret base. The fact that the world's most advanced airplanes, such as the U-2 spy plane, were all developed there only adds fuel to the conspiracy theory fire. We know that something secretive is already going on at Area 51. The government has always been adamant about keeping the civilian population out. It has been suggested that the U-2 was based off of technology recovered from an alien spacecraft. The UFO allegedly crash-landed at the location in the Nevada desert where Area 51 is now. At the time of the crash, the US military needed an aircraft that could fly over 70,000 feet and take pictures of Soviet installations and secrets. No other plane had been able to achieve this altitude and speed until the U-2 came along. Your friend suggests that the only reason the US military ended up with a plane that suited their needs was because they stole the technology from the alien spacecraft that had crashed. Also, the U-2 required a never-before-produced fuel that would not evaporate at high altitudes. Are we just supposed to believe that the Shell Oil Company magically produced the new fuel at the same time as the state-of-the-art aircraft, your friend asks? Aliens must have played a role in the development of the U-2 project, or at least alien secrets were stolen to make it a success. Your friend argues that the leap in technological advancements in the decade following World War II just couldn't have happened without alien intervention. How could US engineers and scientists make such big strides without a little help from our friends upstairs, he asks. The rest of the group seems a little skeptical that the U-2 was based off of stolen alien secrets, although it did come out of Area 51, so is it really that crazy of an idea? Another member of the group speaks up. I don't know about the U-2, but the A-12 Archangel and the SR-71 Blackbird were definitely built using alien technology. You and your friends turn to listen to the new speaker. She lays out why she believes the A-12 and the SR-71 are aircraft that were built using alien technology. The unique body shape of those aircrafts alone could have been stolen from alien spacecraft. These aircrafts had a longer fuselage than any other military plane at that point in time. Their distinctive cobra-like appearance could only be concocted by the minds of aliens. Not only that, but the first A-12 arrived at Area 51 in a specially designed secret trailer. She explains that the trailer itself is suspicious, but what was inside may be even more incredible. Did the trailers contain alien technology that was incorporated into the aircraft? She continues explaining how if the US really wanted to hide the plane from the Soviets, they could have just designed and built the whole thing at Area 51. Instead, the A-12 was brought in specially designed trailers that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars each. That's a lot of money just to spend on transportation, unless you're transporting something that could change the world. She believes, like others, that the trailers were made to hide alien technology, which would be incorporated into the A-12 and SR-71. The SR-71 and its predecessor could reach a sustained speed of Mach 3.2 at 90,000 feet of altitude. This blew any previous US aircraft out of the water. Your friend is convinced that there must have been stolen alien technology used to improve the A-12 so substantially over the U-2. It could fly 2,000 miles per hour faster, for goodness sakes, she yells. You shake your head and look back up at the stars. Could they be right? No way. Aliens haven't visited Earth. At least you don't think they have. Then the person next to you clears their throat. <clears throat> as much as I want to agree with you two, I don't know if there's quite enough evidence for me to be convinced that alien technology was used in the U-2, A-12, and SR-71 aircraft. You're about to agree with him when he suddenly says, but the F-117 Nighthawk was without a doubt made from alien technology. Let me tell you all about it. Up until this point in time, aircraft could all be seen by radar in one form or another. There was no such thing as stealth aircraft. Then the Nighthawk was designed at Area 51. The knowledge and engineering skills used to create such an advanced technology must have been based on something. Your friend suggests that stealth technology was just stolen alien technology. It had never been done on Earth before, so maybe it came from beyond the planet. The sleek angles could have been based off a crashed alien spacecraft. Perhaps this very technology was why alien UFOs were so hard to find and track. All the aliens were using it to stealthily fly around our planet. He continues talking excitedly. 
Do you mean to tell me that the boomerang shape of UFOs dating back as far as the 1940s was designed by humans for the Nighthawk? Absolutely not. It doesn't add up. The design of the aircraft must have come from the designs of a crashed alien spacecraft. There's no way that the US military just came up with the body design and stealth technology for the F-117 off the top of their heads. He's adamant that the Nighthawk is made from stolen alien tech. Your friend finishes his explanation, crosses his arms, and sits back in his chair. I bet that's hard to argue against, he says with a smirk. All of your stargazing friends really seem to be into alien conspiracies, but you're still a skeptic. Isn't it just possible that the US had really good scientists and engineers who came up with all the ideas, you ask? Sure, another stargazer across from you says, as they look through their telescope. But if that were the case, how do you explain the new Chinese helicopter called the Super Great White Shark? You haven't heard of this craft before and wait for the explanation. The stargazer pulls away from the telescope, rubs their eyes, and tells the group about the Super Great White Shark that was designed using alien technology. They pull up a picture on their phone. Sure enough, looks just like a classic flying saucer. The Chinese claim that the helicopter was designed to fight in the digital information battlefield of the future. It has a blended wing design that's the same technology used in the United States B-2 bomber. They explain that this technology must have been stolen from a common source, aliens. The US and the Chinese developing highly sophisticated stealth technology around the same time is unlikely. The stealth tech had to have a connection somewhere. They argue that the US and China have never been too friendly, so collaboration is unlikely. Therefore, they must have a common source of information for new technology. That common source is none other than aliens. The stargazer shoves the picture in your face again. The glow of the smartphone screen blinds you for a moment. Look at the shape, they yell. You have to give credit. The shape of the super great white shark helicopter is very similar to a flying saucer. Could this new Chinese aircraft be based off of the spaceships of extraterrestrials? You're not sure you're convinced, but you do wonder how far back you'd have to go before people started attributing advanced military tech to aliens. Then, as if one of your other friends is reading your mind, they blurt out, it was the Nazis. Everyone looks at them. What? You all ask at once. You all may be right about this alien technology in different aircraft, but stolen alien tech was first used by the Nazis, he says. You sit back and get ready for the biggest surprise of the night. The use of alien technologies by Nazi Germany went something like this, your friend says. In 1936, there were accounts of a saucer-shaped ship crashing in Germany. It was claimed to have dead extraterrestrial beings inside. The SS recovered it within hours and used reverse engineering out of the alien technology to make weapons. Hitler and the Nazis were obsessed with the occult, so they may have found other alien technology around the world as they spread like a disease across the continents. The first stolen alien technology used by the Nazis was in their rockets. Your friend carries on with their alien history lesson. The V-1 buzz bomber and the V-2 rocket were light years ahead of their time. Nothing even close had ever been created in human history. The sheer complexity of the rockets compared to weapons that had previously been invented was mind-boggling. It's clear evidence that alien technology was being used. Some conspiracy theorists believe that alien technology went as far as allowing the Nazis to develop missiles that could reach New York and Mars. The Nazis stole alien technology and used it to try and conquer the world, your friend shouts. But that's not all. The Nazis may have discovered fission with the help of reversed-engineered alien technology. Luckily, the aliens that the Nazis had found were already dead, otherwise they might have been able to get even more alien secrets out of them. One Nazi technology that's definitely from aliens was the Hanebu. The aircraft has been shown by skeptics to be made up, but I know it was for real, your friend says. It was an actual flying saucer designed by the Nazis. Can anyone really deny that Hitler and the Nazis would do something as crazy as building their own flying saucer? Not really, you mutter under your breath. You look around your friend group. You're still a skeptic, but their ideas have given you at least something to think about. A lot of revolutionary technology was discovered and built during World War II. The decades that followed also consisted of a boom of innovation in the tech world. Could it be possible that this influx of new technology was because of the acquisition of stolen alien secrets? Now check out scientists submit actual proof aliens are watching you right now. Or for a little more proof that there might be aliens, watch evidence that aliens have made contact.